Okay, so this video is going to cover how to write numbers in scientific notation. So taking a look at the bottom of the screen, so scientific notation is typically a scene like this here. You have a, a, you have a number, times 10 to some power. So n just represents an exponent. It can be a positive exponent, it can be a negative exponent. Now the only stipulations really on this is that that a is a number that is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So we're looking for a number that only has a single digit as a ones place. You don't have a tens, a hundreds place. You have a ones place, or you can have some possible decimals. So what we need to do in order to put a number in scientific notation is this. Step one, move the decimal until we have a number that is greater than or equal to 1 or less than 0. So we know that our decimal point is understood to be over here all the way to the right. So we need to move our decimal until we get a number between 1 and 10. So we would need to move it a few times here along the way. And we would actually want to leave it right there in between the 2 and the 3. 2.396 and so on would be a number between 1 and 10. Step 2, ignoring all zeros write the number. So ignoring all these zeros here, we would now have 2.396. And this would represent your A. Scientific notation is always times 10 to some power. Now the power comes from how many decimal places we had to move. So count the number of decimal places moved. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. So this, this is going to be our exponent. The last thing that we need to know, is it a positive exponent or is it a negative exponent? So essentially, if we have a big number, like we started out here, a big number is really anything more than 1. If we have a big number, our exponent would be positive. If we had a small number, which is like less than 1, any decimal, 0, 0.00, um, we would add a negative exponent to it. So our answer in scientific notation is 2.396 times 10 to the 10th. Okay, so let's take a look at an example like this where we have a decimal to start off with. So step one, move the decimal until we have a number that's greater than or equal to one, but less than 10. So we would have to move it until it is right over here between the four and the five. Ignoring all zeros, we would have 4.52. And scientific notation is always times 10 to some power. Well, how many times did we move that decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So our exponent will be 7. The only other thing we need to figure out, is it positive or is it negative? So again, if it's a big number, it's positive. But here we had a little number. This is an extremely small number, so that means a negative exponent. So our number in scientific notation is 4.52 times 10 to the negative 7th.